Greetings and salutations, my name's JW608. Today we are playing Star Maid, and today we're going to do some weapons testing. Uh, some more weapons testing. We did small arms yesterday, we're going to play with some big guns today. And I have a, uh, a uh, ship substitute. Uh, my ballistic gel armored has three layers of armor, has a few shields and whatnot. But this is our weapons testing platform. Alright, what I have is I have a whole bunch of power. And a few thrusters in case I need to move. I have each weapon system with 10 modules. So cannons, missiles, damage beam, and damage pulse. And then I have the same over here, mirrored. Except these four are connected to the core. Uh, these should not be. Uh, huh. Those should not be connected to the core. Okay. Uh, let's see. And we are going to go through and we're going to test to see exactly what each of these do. Um, and that... Okay. I still have that hooked up to something. Okay, except today we're going to focus on the antimatter cannons. Uh, I have some statistics on antimatter cannons, and how you build them is, uh, well, first you get into creative mode. There we go. I'm going to set to remove, and we're also going to set to stop, because somehow I got spinning. All right. Everything's set up and good. You put down a computer, then you put down modules. C on the computer to get the, um, the orange, orange, yellowish orange this type of selection around it, the bouncing outline, and V to select modules, shift V to select a, like a fill tool, select all the, the cannon barrels, and the amount of barrels determine the the power of it, and the direction of the the um, primary computer, let's see, cannon computer here, if I was going to put it on, put down another one, the arrow is the direction the the uh, shots will fire. So if I was to put another system here with facing with the arrow facing that way, even though the front of my ship is going that way, any uh, set of uh, modules or cannon barrels in this case set to the computer, this computer will fire in that direction. Isn't that neat to know? And each module, all right, modules that touch each other are all considered in the same group. So all these, even though there are 10 here, it's only going to fire one projectile, but you probably knew all that. If I was to break it, now it would fire two. I don't want to do that. All right, my setup, I have a one computer and 10 modules. Now, uh, anti, an, yeah, an anti-matter cannon, the AMC, without any, any extras, is going to have... 10 damage per module. So I should get 100 damage because I have 10 modules. Let's see if that works. Yep, 100 damage. And it's only going to fire one projectile, and it does. See? Uh, see, it's going to take a second to reload, and you can see the, the, the spinning pie chart thing in the uh, toolbar. It takes about a second. Uh, one of these projectiles will go for one sector before it disappears. And its speed is 10 times the, I believe it's 10 times the maximum speed of the ships from for server settings. So the faster your ship's on the server, the faster these projectiles are going to fire. And power, it's going to take 100 power per activation. And notice there at the top right on the top of my power bar, every time I click it's negative 1,000. And I hit, hit that, and it takes 100 off the shields. Very good. Okay, so that's basically how that works. Now, if I wanted to do something special, I have to slave another system to it. And that's the, the, the term we use. This will be the master, and anything connected to it will be a slave. Uh, probably not politically correct, but what you're going to do? That's what it's called. Anyway, um, we have this set like uh, with the, the orange bars, like we were attaching modules to it. Now we're going to want to go over here, because I don't have these set up to the core. 
I'm going to attach this Canon com computer to it. Now this Canon computer also has 10 modules set up to it. Now, you'll notice in here, I have one Canon computer. Its total size is 20, main size is 20, and has 100% from 10 blocks in its secondary slot. Okay, so altogether there are 20 modules. The main, this one, this, this computer here has 10, and the other has 10. And, and the 100% tells the ratio. I have 100% of secondary as I do uh, primary, so it's 1 to 1. So if they're 10 blocks, 10 blocks. And this, uh, the secondary, when I have a cannon set to a secondary to a cannon, it changes the values of its firing, or the characteristics of it. For example, it still only fires one, one shot, see. But if the power, instead of being 100 per shot, is 10 per shot. Uh, actually, that's too slow to, to pick that up. Okay, speed is same speed of projectile, same range, but the reload has gone from 1 second to 0 0.1 seconds, and damage has gone from 10 damage to 1. See? I was doing 100, now I'm doing 20, that's because I have, it should be doing, I think it should be doing 10, but I have 20 altogether. I think that's why it's doing that. And notice that's rapid fire. Rapid fire, okay. So, why would you use a rapid fire cannon? Because it's not going to do much more, much more damage. The DPS should be similar. And for all these tests, I'm going to have them at 100%. You can do uh, like 50% secondary. Then it'll fire slower, do a little more damage, and you can fiddle with all that. Uh, but the primary reason I use rapid fire, other than for being impressive, is uh, anti-missile turrets, or point defense. Uh, turrets, or missiles, move real quick. And so I want as many shots as I can to hit them. So they're useful for that. Or if you just want rapid fire, then this is the way to go. Okay. But there are other things you can slave a cannon to. We want to undo that, and we're going to attach it to a missile. Now if you slave a missile to a cannon, it changes the values. Now instead of doing 10 damage, or 1 in case of the, the cannon, each shot is going to do 20 damage. Reload is doubled to 2 seconds. Range is still 1 sector. Speed is the same, but power activation is 200 per module. And I have 20 modules, so it should be, what, 4,000 damage drain? Or energy drain? And this does something special. It turns it to a shotgun. See, look at that. And 4,000 there. Okay. Now, this is not particularly useful. Um, I don't know of anyone who ever said, Oh, I want to put a cannon missile system on my ship. I don't really know. Well, I guess there are good reasons. If you just want to get lots of shots down the range... Or just fire lots of things, and maybe you're clearing out a uh, minefield, I'm not real sure. You could probably think of something better than me. I've never really had much use for this. Although it is impressive. Alright. So let's take that off, and we're going to add Damage Beam. Now, Damage Beam. Uh, damage per activation has gone from 10 to 40. Reload time has gone to 4 seconds for reload. Range has gone from from one uh, one sector to three. So now, that shot I just fired will go for three sectors before it disappears. And it goes twice as fast as a regular cannon shot. And the power is 200 per, act or 200 per module. So that's 8,000 to fire that. But the damage should be noticeably higher. Yeah, 800. That's not bad. And it's a long range. Uh, you'll often hear this is like a sniper cannon because of the, the the long range. And I can't see for three three sectors, so I think most people attach this to a turret and let the computer fire it. Okay. And finally, our pulse damage, our damage pulse. I'm sorry. 
when you have a regular cannon with a pulse damage slave, damage pulse slave, damage per activation is going to be 160. So every time I fire, it's going to be 160 times the amount of modules I have hooked up. Reload time is 16 seconds. Range is one sector. And it's a regular speed for a cannon projectile, but power per activation per module is going to be 1600. So this is going to take a whole hunk of power and do a good chunk of damage. One shot, 3200 damage, 16 seconds to reload, and 3200 power consumed. So typically when you slave a damage pulse to a weapon system, it's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to take a lot of extra energy and do a lot of extra damage. Okay, we're going to give it one more shot. Come on, one more shot. There we go. All right. And you can unslave it. And you can do this on the fly like I'm doing. In the middle of battle, if you want, you can even swap these out. Uh, I don't know the practicality of that, but you can do it. And there we have our standard, standard uh, cannon shot. Now back here, I have the effects. And I have 10 modules of effects each. Um, we'll talk about effects later, and when a whole group. But for now, you can know you can have a master, you can have a regular system slave to it, and you can have an effect. So this is going to be a shotgun of cannon with push. Push basically just pushes the target away. But since these beams are so small, and that thing is so large, it's not going to do much. Although notice it's at 162, goes to 163, I've actually pushed it backwards a meter. Uh, nah, why not? Let's talk about these now. An extra long video today. Stop. If something's moving, it, the shots make it stop a little. Pull is the opposite of push. It's going to pull it toward me. Typically with these, you're going to, uh, you're going to want beams. Overdrive. Overdrive takes it and makes it more powerful. It's going to take more... Oh, where's my... Get rid of that. Get rid of the... missile. there we go. And I want it saved to Overdrive. Okay. Overdrive is going to make it cost more, but it'll make it hit harder. That is an unmodded, or uns unslaved, unmastered... Just the cannons, no slaves to it other than the the uh, overdrive. It's a 600 per shot, but takes 12,000 um, power. So it would boost it quite a bit. Not as, I think the uh, the damage pulse did better, but let's see. Uh, the ion, ion cannons, just damage shields. So if you have 100% ion, it's not going to do any damage to systems or anything of that nature. I believe that's ion. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, it's going to reduce the damage to blocks. If you have it uh, at a hundred percent, like I do, it doesn't do any damage to blocks, just to shields. Let's see what else we got here. Piercing. Uh, piercing increases block damage. And hold on, I have a a uh, thing over here. Come on, where's my my mouse cursor? Uh, anywho, it increases block damage, uh, and I believe it. Uh, Where's my mouse cursor? There we go. Uh, dramatically... Oh, piercing. Uh, for damage, beams and cannons slightly increases block damage and decreases opponent armor efficiency. Uh, but decreases shield damage. For missiles and pulses, uh, better blast radius. So the piercing uh, does better armor damage. Uh, so if you're using heavy armor or something like that, this will punch through it a little easier. And I wanted to hit V on that, not C. C doesn't do anything to shields there. Explosive, that just makes this just a tiny missile, basically. EMP does damage to power. So you look at the, the top left, every time I hit it, the power goes down. And if I don't, it doesn't. So if you have a, a generator or something, you just want to take the power out of it. You hit it with the uh, EMP. 
and punch through. Let's see. Let me actually read punch through. Um, punch through can reduces block damage in exchange for effect that punches. Uh, that's push. Punch through. For damage beams and cannons, increases block and armor damage. For missiles and pulses, slightly increases the blast radius. So it uh, increases your damage to blocks and armor. So sort of like the, the, the Pierce. Except I think this one makes armor less efficient. This does more damage to blocks. Okay. That is basically the cannon system. And it's various and sundry attachments, and you can get any sort of combination you want. Uh, as long as there's only one weapon system and one effect, and if you want, you can even do a pulse, damage pulse overdrive, and this should pack a wall up. Yeah. That took out shields. It's going to take 16 seconds to recharge. Uh, I'm going to stop spinning. One more hit. Just for fun. Yeah. Not only did they take out shields, that that ripped through it. Alright, I know we're in overtime. I don't like videos to be quite this long, but I wanted to see what that did. It punched through and ran a channel halfway through the water in my ballistics gel. That is impressive. And that is a... a uh, Damage Pulse Overdrive Cannon. Only with 10 modules each. That is really impressive. But it takes lots of power. Anywho, we're out of time for today. And that has been the... The cannons come back tomorrow. We're going to be talking about missiles. Oh, it's going to be so fun. I've been JW608, and this has been Star Made. I'll take you cats later.